Hi, I'm Bob. Sample selection bias happens when the estimation sample could not represent the entire population we are interested in. A classic example in textbooks is the women's wage equation. We regress women's wages on their educational attainment and other explanatory variables. Some women did not work when the data were collected. We have wage data for the women who are employed and earn wages. We do not have wage data for the women who were unemployed at the time when the survey was conducted. Let's open the dataset for the US female workers. Please download the dataset from the link below. Suppose we want to examine how education affects wages. We may regress the log wage on years of schooling, region, and race using OLS. If we are only interested in the employed women, the OLS estimate is valid. But if we want to make inference about the relationship between wages and education for all the women of the prime working age, including the employed and unemployed, then the estimates could be biased. And we need to perform the sample selection correction. The sample of the employed women in this case is the selected sample. The bias caused by the selected sample is called sample selection bias. It's also called the self-selection bias because only the women who chose to work are in the sample. The Hagman two-step procedure provides a method to alleviate the sample selection bias. In the first step, using the entire sample, including employed and unemployed women, estimate a probit model of whether the woman was employed and obtain the predictive values and the inverse muse ratio for each observation. In the second step, using the selected sample, that is, the employed women, run the regression of wages on education, other control variables, and the inverse muse ratio. The idea of the Hagman two-step procedure is that we controlled for the sample selection bias by adding a selection variable to the model, and therefore obtain a consistent estimate. Should we use excluded variables in the first step selection regression? The prediction from the selection equation is a function of the regressors in the first step. If the regressors in the outcome equation are the same as the regressors in the selection equation, then the inverse muse ratio or the predicted probability of working will be severely collinear with the regressors in the outcome regression. It leads to large standard errors and imprecise estimates of the coefficients. So, it's better to have an additional regressor in the first step selection regression. To manually estimate the Hagman selection model, we can follow the Hagman two-step procedure. In the first step, we estimate the selection equation. In the dataset, we have a variable the labor force participation, which indicates whether the woman was employed. We type probit, labor force participation, and a list of explanatory variables that affect the women's choice of work, including the number of children under 18, education, race, and region. Next, we generate the predictive values by typing predict labor force participation hat comma xp
Then we compute the inverse mu's ratio, lambda. In the second step, we include the inverse mu's ratio in the wage equation. Notice that the number of children is an additional variable in the selection equation in the first step. After sample selection correction, the estimate suggests that education has a smaller effect on wages. The estimate reduces from 14% to 12%. One more year of schooling increases wages by around 12%. The estimate of lambda is significantly different from zero at the 10% level. It is evidence of the presence of sample selection bias. An equivalent way to perform the Hammond two-step correction is to compute the predicted probability of working from the selection equation and then include the predicted probability in the wage equation. It produces similar results. The coefficient of the predicted probability of working implies that a higher willingness to work leads to a higher wage. It makes sense. Stata has the command Hagman for the sample selection correction. The results are similar to the two-step estimates by hand. Thank you for watching this video. See you tomorrow.